Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Air Actions. This is a piece of functionality for the S Pen, and it's available on most S Pens, but not all. So if you have a Bluetooth enabled S Pen that comes with say the Galaxy Tab S8 line, the Tab S7 line, or an S21 or S22 Ultra, you're all set and ready to go. If you have the Z Fold 4, however, you're gonna to need to get the S Pen Pro because the regular S Pen Fold Edition does not support Air Actions. And if you're on one of the Galaxy laptops, unfortunately Air Actions aren't supported on those. So what are Air Actions exactly? Well, let's take a look at them in action and then I'll show you where to set them up. So we have the camera app loaded up. We've got our little friend Andy sitting here. He's off in the background. I think he's just in camera view there. So let's take a look at what we can do. The first thing we'll look at is switching between your front and rear facing cameras. And what you wanna do is keep your S Pen horizontal Okay, flat to the ground, and you're going to hold in on the pin button and just press up or down. So watch. It's going to switch to me, and I'll switch right back. What we can also do is we can switch between our portrait, photo, video, and more options by pressing and holding the S pin button and swiping left to right. Watch, we'll go over to portrait, we'll go back to photo, we'll go to video, we'll go back here to more, and let's go back to photo. All right, so we're back in photo mode. Some more things we can do as well is we can switch between our cameras, right? We have two rear cameras on the back. So what we do is press and hold the button and you're gonna go in a counterclockwise and clockwise fashion. And once you go around one time, you're gonna let off the button. Let's see this in action. Boom, it switched to our other camera lens. And then we do that again and we'll switch back. And once you're settled in on one of these lenses, if you want to zoom in just a little bit more, you can do this again. Watch. See it zoom in just a tad. We'll do it again and again. When you're ready to take a shot, all you do is click the button. Boom. There you go. So you have complete control of your camera application as well as several other applications with just your S Pen. Super awesome. You don't actually have to touch the display in any way. All right. So we have Spotify open. And we have the volume all the way down. So what we can do now is press the button and it will pause. We'll press it again and it will play. And if you press and hold the button while swiping up, it's gonna turn the volume up. I'll go ahead and turn the volume up a little bit. We'll have to turn it right back down else YouTube will demonetize this video. So let's do this, see this in action. There goes the volume, back down. So really cool functionality for when you have your device setting off to the side and you still wanna interact with it. You do it all with your S Pen. So you have a lot of other applications that can use this functionality as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at where you can set this all up. All right, so to set up Air Actions, let me show you where that is in your settings. You're gonna to wanna to swipe down. Let's open up settings real quick. Here on the left, we're gonna scroll down until we get to Advanced Features. Go ahead and click on that. So right here in the middle between Labs and Side Key, we have S Pen. Now this is a case for One UI 5 as well as previous versions of One UI as well. So go ahead and click on S Pen, and we have the topmost option. This is called Air Actions. This is what we want. Go ahead and click on that. So you're gonna see here, it kind of really spells everything out for you. So uh, again, this is kind of a beginner video. So a lot of you that have been using the S Pen for a while, I'm sure you're already well aware of this, but if you're coming from iPad OS or considering a Samsung device, it's definitely cool to check this stuff out. So we have some default functionality for the system itself, right? So we can go back, we can go home, we can pull up our recents, we can do a smart select, and we can do a screen write. So let's see a couple of these in action real quick, right? So it says to go home, we're gonna swipe up and down while holding the button and then let go of the button. Let's see if that works. All right, we go home. Now to go to recents, we're gonna go like this and this and let go of the button when we're done. All right, so there's our recent. Let's pull that back up. And a couple of these options we can't test here, but we can do them on the home screen. Like, let's say the screen right, for example. It says we go like this and that with the S Pen button depressed. So let's go ahead and go home and do that real quick. So remember how we go home. It's the exact opposite, right? We go up and down. So let's do that. There we go. We are now home. And now we're going to do the opposite gesture. All right, here's our screen right. So we're able to select our objects, right? The default is a rectangular selection tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Go like that. Let me put the tablet back up a little bit. All right, there we go. And we're ready to start editing. Like we can hit our pen icon here and just start drawing and save it. Pretty awesome. 
But in addition to the base functionality that we have, we also have air gestures enabled for certain applications. And you can turn on the air gestures for particular ones as well. You can see here we have these bottom ones turned off. Chrome, Note Shelf, One Shelf, but all these other apps are enabled. So the cool thing is, is you can just click on each one of these and it's gonna give you a list of the air actions that are available for each one of these applications. So for those of you that are new to the Samsung ecosystem, I'll go ahead and click on these real quick just so you have a general idea. If you wanna grab a quick screenshot so you can take a look for later, here's the gallery, all right? Samsung Internet, there you go. Just gonna go through them real quick for thoroughness. Here's for notes. All right, let's look at the emojis. Cool. Clip Studio. Clock, not much there. Deco PC, and we have Office. All right, some basic functionality there. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it's gonna give you some basic options for what it does for the media. Like we already touched base on this for the volume, play, pause, and all that stuff. So Air Actions are a pretty cool way for you to interact with your device. I'll be honest with you guys though, I think for the most part, a lot of this is really gimmicky. However, however, I do really like it a lot for the camera and the media controls how we started this video. Both those two applications, this can be very, very useful, especially if you're taking group shots. And like I mentioned, if you wanna just keep your device off to the side, you see you're working, doing stuff like that, you wanna turn up your volume and turn it down or skip to the next track, you can go ahead and do that with Air Actions. All right, again, this is a beginner video and I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday. And as always, thanks for watching.